Hi, this is Dave Murphy with Split Software, and in this session we'll begin to look at configuring splits, starting with whitelisting. In pre-prod environments, whitelists are the predominant method for rolling out to QA teams and other specific users or groups of users you might want to target. In production, whitelists are commonly used with account traffic types for highly targeted rollouts, such as beta customers or for entitlements. We created a split in the last session using on and off. As a reminder, you can have as many treatments as you want with whatever names make sense. Once you've proved the split in the lower environments, you want to move it all the way through to production. It's typical to run every split through every environment, depending in large part on your release process and cadence. You may want to set stricter permissions in prod to prevent, for example, unauthorized users from accidentally modifying a split that is serving your end users. Let's go back to that split we created in the last video. We have two treatments, on and off, and the default rule is off, so the split is currently dark. Now in pre-prod, you're typically not going to have very complex targeting rules. You'll just want to test your split as to whether or not it's working. So we're going to add a whitelist, and we'll add, start with adding the people who are going to see the feature. So we'll add Bill, Bob, and then we're also going to add a couple segments. We might want to add our automated testing team and the QA team that handles applications for students. Now we can create another whitelist saying specifically who is not going to get the treatment. Right now it doesn't not really necessary because everyone else is getting off anyway, but if we were to set this to a percentage of on and off of 50-50, then maybe we want to say, okay, we also want to make sure that Tom, as the control group, and uh, Joe are going to get the off treatment, so they're not going to see the feature. And then the entire staff is not going to see the feature as well. So now we have on and off whitelisted treatments. Now, an important thing to know about how splits are evaluated is that it's from the top down. So, for example, if Bob is also in the staff uh, segment, he will see the treatment because he is evaluated as being on first and then this is evaluated second. Similarly, if Joe is a member of the QA student segment, he will see the on treatment even though he's explicitly marked as off. So you need to be aware of the order in which the uh, rules are evaluated. Now, it starts with whitelisting, which you might expect because that's where you're targeting very specific and explicit people. Then you might go to target, or we go to traffic allocation, which is, all right, of my total traffic, probably once we move it into production, how many users are going to see this? And we'll talk more about this in the next uh, video. Then this explicit targeting rules where you might identify, uh, you know, based on demographics or other reasons, who's going to see the on or off treatment. Finally, you'll go to the default rule, which can be, okay, everybody who's not identified earlier is going to see the off treatment, or we might say, we'll split the rest of the people to 50-50 or some percentage. And then finally, there's the default treatment, which is off in this case, could be on, or any other treatment. And that's going to be the treatment that everyone gets if, the, uh, if they're A, not included because of the traffic allocation, or B, if the split is killed. So we're going to save our changes. And let's take this split and move it into production. So to do that, we would just say, all right, the split, we want to go to production. We can define the targeting rules from scratch, or we can select an environment to, target, uh, to copy from. So we're just going to copy the rules that we just had in the staging environment into our production environment. And we may want to do that because we'll want to keep as a control the people who are getting on and off uh, explicitly uh, to get those specific treatments. Now one thing to know, we talked about permissions in the last video, is this is a case where we have uh, permissions set at the environment level, where everyone in production is following these permissions. And right now we say the only people who can edit splits in production are the administrators and product managers. And even if you had the rights for editing this split in staging, uh, and even if you're an owner of this split, you don't get edit rights unless you're in one of these two groups. Typically, production environments are locked down to prevent someone who is not authorized to make a change or a new newer user from accidentally making a change that negatively impacts the rollout or experiment. You can go to help.split.io where you'll find more information along with links to documentation and our community. Thanks.